Alderaan certainly is the prettiest world on our itinerary. Don't let all that breathtaking scenery fool you, though. This is the most dangerous planet of the core worlds. The nobles here could teach the Sith a few things about backstabbing and assassination. Backstabbers and assassins? I'll fit right in. Up to a point. The nobles won't let you forget that you're beneath them. Every so often, the noble families spill their bloodlines fighting for the throne. The current succession war is the bloodiest on record. Since the Empire arrived to put its own puppet in charge, there's no telling who will come out on top. Sounds like a good place to turn a profit. There's nothing like a little political chaos to line a spacer's pockets. The first time I visited, I thought all the nobles were so glamorous. Then I saw the truth. These people don't know how lucky they are, or what they should do with their fortunes. They don't deserve to rule. I'll show these nobles a few new tricks. Just take care of our business first before you go cheating someone out of their crown jewels. Your first delivery is a piece of glaze cake. All you have to do is escort that antique power droid to House Organa's castle. Since House Organa runs this spaceport and their castle is right around the corner, dropping off the droid should be a quick run. Enough standing around. Let's haul jets. The droid belongs to a couple of young nobles, Len Teron and his sister Sidonia. Decent people, all things considered. Got it. I better get moving. You made a deal with a woman named Risha for this droid? I'm here to collect. Welcome home, you ugly little thing. I mean the droid, of course. This is no time for your juvenile jokes. We should properly introduce ourselves. I am Lady Sidonia Terran, Herald of the Gold Aurora. And I'm her brother, Lord Len Terran, Warden of the Eternal Flame. Please call me Len. You're the best thing I've seen all day, Len. The last time a woman made me blush, I was just a boy. My brother and I are all that remains of House Turan's noble bloodline. One of Alderaan's more reprehensible pedigrees, House Bailis, slaughtered our family and seized all our holdings. Your family drama doesn't interest me. I want my reward. Well, the droid itself isn't what we're after. We need what's hidden inside. What that droid contains will rebuild House Turan. But we need instructions to safely open the hidden compartment. It's rigged to explode, you see. The instructions are at our family's estate, now occupied by House Bayless's forces. Without those instructions, we can't pay you. Clean up this mess yourself. I'm done. Unless we recover what's inside the droid, it's of no use to us. The instructions we need are in a data pad of Tehran family history at our estate's library. If you retrieve that datapad, we'll add a substantial bonus to your payment. And there are some additional family heirlooms we'll pay you handsomely to recover while you're there. I'd rather do charity work for a hut. You're putting yourself in danger already. What's a few extra thefts? Sidonia, it's almost time for that meeting with House Organa. Why don't you go chat with them in my place? How shocking that you'd rather stay and entertain a female guest. Very well. I'll return as soon as I'm able. Don't hurry back. Goodbye. I thought she'd never leave. My dear sister has the charisma of a killick. You, on the other hand, are endlessly charming. Quiet, Wookie. You're not going anywhere. I don't mind if your servant hears our conversation. I'm many things, but shy isn't one of them. When you return with that data pad, I'll have to find a creative means of thanking you. I've already thought of several. Really? I look forward to comparing notes. When this droid business is over, I might leave Alderaan, finally put the blood and feuding behind me. Spend the rest of my life as a galactic vagabond, wouldn't that be grand? If you're looking to roam the galaxy, we should talk when I get back. I hope we'll do more than talk. I've monopolized your time enough for now. Do take care of yourself. Rumors are filling the hollow frequencies of a daring robbery at our old estate. You've set a lot of tongues wagging. House Bayless is missing a data pad from their new library. I'll let my dear sister have the honors. Never could decipher that blasted thing. It's a simple code, woven through the genealogical entries. You just have to assemble the letters correctly, Len. What are you waiting for? An invitation? You sound just like our old droid governess. I so miss her gentle scolding. 
According to this, we must pry open the droid's ventral servo motor housing and disable its lateral conduits. The hollow chip is hidden within a false power storage unit behind a detonite charge. Entering the disarm code. I've got it! After all these centuries, we finally have our proof. The information on this holochip proves House Turan is owed a considerable number of credits. When the other families hear of this, we will reclaim our status among the nobility. Don't forget who put you back on top. I think you'll find us extremely generous to our friends. I must leave at once to have this data authenticated by the Royal Council. Len, see to our hero's payment. Nothing would please me more, dear sister. I'll be finished with Lord Shiny Pants any second now. <laughs> Yes, well, you clearly have a pressing schedule, so I won't impose. Here, take this data pad to your associate Risha. It contains one of House Turan's old family recipes. The design for a powerful anti-radiation shield, which makes a starship immune to all sorts of nasty cosmic rays. This better be the real deal, or I'll be back. While I'd love to see you again, I can assure you this shield design is flawless. Once you add your bonus for recovering heirlooms from our old home, you'll find you've done quite well. You have House Tehran's deepest thanks. Someday you'll have powerful friends on Alderaan. Farewell. You got House Tehran's schematic. Perfect. That wasn't too bad, was it? I should make you do more of the work. I have delicate hands, Captain. It would be a shame to get them dirty. Your next delivery is to take that head in the jar to a sniveling little stuffed shirt named Pima Ahuff. Pima is at House Alda's estate. You'll have to sneak through some tough battle zones to get there. Why does some noble need a head in a jar? It's a history thing. If you're that interested, ask Pima. His lectures are thrilling. Can't wait to ditch that creepy head. I swear its eyes follow me around the cargo hold. This is one delivery I recommend keeping covered. Let's not upset the locals any more than we need to. Good luck, Captain. Guided tours of House Alder's Royal Museum are closed until further notice. I have nothing against off-world visitors, but please leave, or I'll be forced to call security. Do you want this head in a jar or not? I most certainly do not. Get that disgusting thing out of my sight. I mean, really, what sort of buffoon brings a counterfeit head and expects payment? House Alder has already obtained the head of Darth Bandon, thank you very much. It was genetically authenticated by one of my conservators yesterday. Not only are you an idiot, your people are incompetent. How dare you? Cadrath? Cadrath, come here! Yes, noble curator. How may I serve your impeccable rectitude? Where is Neva? I want her to run the genetic authenticator on this head and prove it's a fake. I haven't seen Neva since she authenticated the other head yesterday, noble curator. I sent a message to her holo, but she never replied. Describe this Neva to me so I can end her miserable existence. Oh, my stars, no. She's such a lovely young lady. Cadrath. Perform a genetic authentication on this head at once. Compare the results to the head we received yesterday. I beg your patience, noble curator. This process will take some time. I'm afraid we have a slight problem. This head is a 100% genetic match for the Sith Lord, Darth Bandon. I retested the head Neva verified yesterday. And it does not appear anywhere in the Genetic Authenticator's database. Hand over my payment, you morons! That poses something of a problem. We <clears throat> already gave it to the other man. Captain Skavik, this is Noble Curator Pima Ahoff speaking. I demand that you return the Arcanian hyperdrive at once! The head you bought it with is a counterfeit. Uh, sorry, Pimi. I have a strict no-refunds policy. Hey, Captain. 
You're a little late to the party. I'm coming to get you, Skavik. Just give me a few minutes to clean up. I wasn't expecting company. Hope you don't mind, Beamy, but Nava's taking an early retirement. She's too gorgeous for life in a museum. What? You... You... Menace! You corrupted that girl! Wasn't that hard, trust me. <laughs> whoa, 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 easy there, Scruffy. I see your taste in friends hasn't improved, Captain. I think you should get to know Bodar better. Uh, no thanks. I wouldn't want to catch any fleas. <laughs> I wish I had a hollow of your face right now, Captain. That expression is just priceless. Have fun eating my vapor trails. This is unthinkable. Skavik has committed a grievous affront to a householder. You people are a whole new level of hopeless. Now really, this is no time for insults. Skavik received the Arcanian hyperdrive at the spaceport yesterday. If he's still there, he must not have finished installing it. Skavik cannot leave Alderaan without a functioning hyperdrive. Hurry, catch him before he escapes! any time, did you, Captain? Bet you ran quicker than a Veractal on hot sand. Not that it mattered. <laughs> yeah, sorry I can't be there in person, but my sweet little Neva is very sensitive to violence. Don't worry, though. My friends here will show you a good time. This is a preview of what I'm gonna do to you, Skavik. Hit it, man! shot in the galaxy of those were some seriously unlucky mercenaries. <sighs> I guess I'll erase this hollow recording. Anybody who works for you dies. Got it? That's pretty hard on employee morale, you know that? Look, I hate to cut things short, but I got a swanky new hyperdrive to install. Love that Arcanian tech. You're either the luckiest shot in the galaxy of those were some seriously unlucky mercenaries. <sighs> I guess I'll erase this hollow recording. Anybody who works for you dies. Got it? It's pretty hard on employee morale, you know that? Look, I hate to cut things short, but I got a swanky new hyperdrive to install. Love that Arcanian tech. Take good care of the rest of my stuff, Captain. I'll be coming for it soon. Just find out what's happening. Sorry I'm late. The good news is, I tracked Skavik's ship to House Thule's spaceport. He must have gone there to finish installing that hyperdrive. There's still time to get him. Keep being handy, and I might just let you live. How inspiring. The Empire controls House Thule. Skavik has landing clearance from the Imperials, but you'll have to sneak in on foot. Luckily, someone here owes me a big favor. I've arranged a meeting to sneak you inside that spaceport and get the hyperdrive. What a perfect excuse to blow things up. Careful, that spaceport is crawling with Imperials. My contact is at these coordinates. Oh, and there may be a way we can profit from this whole debacle. House Alda still wants the head. That pompous gas bag Pima Ehuf will probably pay anything to get it. You pay me what I want, or I'll fry him. Pima? I think all you'll have to do is threaten to muss his hair. You can close the deal with Pima at a safe zone on your way to meet my contact. Good luck. 